everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sama. Today I wanted to do something a little bit fun. I have been seeing a lot of ABG transformations and InstaBaddy transformations and I really want to try it myself. I don't know what you would classify my style as. I usually just wear whatever I like and that usually includes a lot of color. Very rarely do I wear super plain clothes. Lots of patterns, lots of- it's just bright and bold. But today I would like to transform myself into an InstaBaddy or an ABG. I don't know if I can be classified as an ABG because Technically, I'm Asian, but I'm not East Asian. I think most ABGs are like East Asian Americans. Technically, I'm Asian, so probably I can be an ABG as well. But anyway, I'm gonna transform myself today because I have a date with my partner. It's Saturday and I really want to look super nice for him and for myself. I just want to be an insta baddie. I got a few things here ready to transform myself, so let's get started. Subscribe! So I have changed to a velvet top and show a little bit of cleave because that's what insta baddies usually do, right? Yesterday I got my nails done and I've got like this really nice gem-like nails so that's gonna be nice. Usually I don't really wear foundation. I really don't like the feeling of just having like a ton of makeup on my face so what I usually do is I wear just concealer this is my Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 360. This is hard. I've never done like a makeup <laughs> makeup video before. It's really awkward, but I usually put it under my under eye and then I just use my ring finger to blend it all in. I'm going to do eyebrow. Oh, I got a new eyebrow pencil from NYX. So I haven't used like eyebrow pencils in months <laughs> because I don't know I just never bothered and eyebrows just take a while you know so sometimes I'm just too lazy and as you can see I don't have much of an eyebrow set here it's, it's literally just like these Rottweiler style eyebrows so insta baddies usually have a pretty arched eyebrow so I think I'm gonna try doing that So yesterday I went to go and buy like some new makeup and and get my nails done as well. It was really nice to go out and do normal things because I feel like, I don't know, there's a sense of normality now. I mean, you still have to go out and like wear a mask, you know, but at least people are complying and you can go out and do things like shop for necessities or just do some self-care. So much better lately. And I'm really hoping that people continue to comply to the rules because then we will have a sense of normality properly soon. What do you think? It's really sharp, eh? Not sure. Not sure I like it. Put like some concealer there. That actually makes your eyebrows look so sharp. <laughs> Uh, this is why I'm too lazy to do eyebrows. It takes ages to get them like Perfect, I'm using like I think this is like an eyebrow set from From Sephora that one of my best friends got for me for Christmas and I'm still using it today It's like so nasty, but it it has done well for me to draw eyebrows on my face What is next? I guess some eyeshadow? <laughs> Okay, so I got this NYX eyeshadow palette. It's called Ultimate Edit and it's just a small palette. I don't wear eyeshadow that often but I do want to try wearing more eyeshadow. I feel like it's fun. What color should I use? I am velvety today so maybe reddish tone? I'm gonna put a little bit of the red on my eyes and then I'm gonna darken it up. couldn't be arsed. <laughs> hey, you know what, kudos to all you girls who like to wear like colorful makeup and stuff because it's just so tiring to do this. Okay, let's move on. 
move on to eyeliner i use a etude house all day fix now etude house or any korean brands in my opinion have the best eyeliners because they're literally waterproof and smudge proof and i have tried so many different drugstore products in the uk from nyx elf all that stuff and it's nothing can compare to korean products and i will swear by etude house all day fix eyeliner and i will also swear by cleo's eyeliner the ones with like k-pop stars on it those are like the best eyeliners that I have ever used in my life and they never budge. I have used them when going to festivals, to, to dance clubs and stuff and I'll be sweaty and nasty and there's still eyeliner on my face. Like, it's so good. Yeah, okay, let's just stick to this because I don't want to... I don't want to draw too much and then it just looks like shit, you know what I mean? I usually only ever wear fake eyelashes during events. I don't really wear them out that often, but so this is Eye Lure London. And it's really nice because they're quite natural eyelashes actually. Oh wait, but I need to put on mascara first. Okay. So I also will, will vouch for the Etude House Curl Fix. This is a waterproof mascara and it is 100% waterproof. Like you need to have an oil-based uh, makeup remover or else it will not come off your eyelashes. I use the Body Shop Cabamile makeup remover and that works perfectly for all of my makeup. If you want waterproof mascara that's like 100% no failure whatsoever, get this one. This one's really, 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 really good. I don't have that much eyelashes, but you can see that the mascara does a pretty good job. You can suddenly see that I do have eyelashes, but usually they're like pretty shit. My partner, he's Scottish, right? And he's one of those guys who are like somewhat ginger, a little bit blondish. He's got the nicest eyelashes. Like why does he have such nice eyelashes? He doesn't even appreciate them. And I have like these dinky ass eyelashes that don't show up naturally that I have to put things on it. Nobody's perfect, I guess. Okay, but I'm gonna put on the eyelashes now. It actually looks pretty natural, actually. You don't look as bad. Like, like before this, I didn't know how to put the eyelashes on, so it looked like I had like umbrellas on my my face. You know what I mean? I just probably didn't put it on properly because I could constantly see the eyelashes and they were so annoying. But now I know probably I just didn't do it properly. Okay, I got the eyelashes on. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. I think I might want to like extend my eyeshadow a little bit. Got some paracetamol mixed it there and then we'll see if I can do like a really nice extended effect. Yes! Don't know if you can see, I added like gold in the middle here. Oh my god, it looks so good. It looks like champagne. Once again, because I am a completely basic bitch, I don't contour. So what I do is I add red on the cheeks here and then I just smudge it so see this smudge that because I'm like really tanned this will act as the contour but also as the blush oh, it works really well see so when you see it see really good right the recording is like going to 36 minutes, my god. This takes ages. So we're gonna now move on to lips. So I got this lip liner from NYX as well. Very rarely do I ever use lip liner, but hey, let's give it a shot here. And I also got a lipstick from NYX and it's in the color Everyone Lies. So that's nice. This is what I see YouTubers do. They line it and then they color it in and then they put lipstick on it. So 
Look at this color. Woo! What do you think? Too much? Okay, so now I'm going to curl my hair and make it look even more presentable because my hair right now is just crazy. my hair i just noticed that abgs and like insta baddies they usually show off their arms that have like tattoos and stuff and i already have tattoos so i think i'm gonna change my top into something that shows off my arms okay i've changed my outfit now you can see my tattoos i'm gonna wear some like fake earrings because these are cool Really cool! Yes! Look! Hell yes! I'm wearing my off white leggings. I'm gonna choose a pair of shoes to go with all of this. I also have these sunglasses. So I've got two. I've got these ones, which might. Quite, this goes quite well with my outfit. And I also have these ones, which I think is really nice, like. Oh yeah, that looks cool as hell. Oh my god, I look awesome. I think I look fucking stunning. Hell yeah, beach. And I'm gonna wear some rings and my watch, and then we're done. And we should be done. So, this is my final look. Let's do a little, a proper lookbook type of thing now. <laughs> Okay guys, this is my ABG Insta Baddie transformation. I really like it. I think I look pretty badass. Here is a close-up. We've got the earrings here, my eyelashes and eyeshadow looks really nice. Really nice lipstick color. I'm so glad I have a nose piercing already because that kind of adds to the look. And my eyebrows looking snatched. I do like that. I will share all of the makeup details in the description box below so hopefully you can get the same colors as me if you like it of course what do you guys think of this transformation do you like how i look i love how i look so i don't really care if you don't like how i look i'm gonna go out and get some boba now just like all the other abgs and insta baddies out there I hope you really liked this video, it was really fun for me to do. It is quite challenging to do makeup and talk to the camera, so kudos to beauty gurus who do this for a living because it is really difficult to entertain people while you're doing the makeup. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you enjoyed this transformation. It's a bit random but I had a lot of fun and it's really fun to try out all of these makeup styles and everything. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content, sometimes random content like this. Mostly travel content. And I will see you next time. Bye!